Hello, I'm Charlize and today I'm going to be doing a Hashtag Friday Reads video. I've actually only ever done one Hashtag Friday Reads video and the reason for that is I usually don't like, because I don't like just showing one book, I like doing them when I'm about to finish a book so I can show two books at least. <laughs> but I have three books to show you for today. If you don't know what Hashtag Friday Reads is, it is, it was originally a Twitter hashtag but it was brought over to YouTube by Bunny Cates. So basically, I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm going to be reading over the weekend, and it is Friday here in Australia. I don't even know. I don't think it's Friday yet in America, but I don't care. I'm not... I'm in Australia, okay? So throughout this week, I've been reading The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, and I have been loving this. I just... I haven't had a lot of time to read. Well, I've had time to read, but I'm, like, free from school now. And you know when you're free and you just, like, want to do the things that you couldn't do, like... I don't know what I've been doing. I've been playing like Minecraft, honestly, but this is so good. This, I've, I don't know when I, I've read this like, I read a decent amount, okay? Can we just take a moment to like admire my bookmark though? Look at it. My friend made it for me. It's a monster. It's eating my book, but it's also keeping my place. I am really, really enjoying this. Um, whenever I read this, I feel like I'm actually there in the story because that is how good the things are described. It's not the most action-packed book ever and it's not like a page turner but like I tend to love these types of books that aren't all that action-packed. Like The Book Thief wasn't all that action-packed but I loved it. Like I would compare this like I mean the level of action in this to The Book Thief. I am loving this and I don't know if I'll finish it but I'm gonna try my best. I am 214 pages in so, like, I should be able to finish it. There's about 500 pages. And yes. So now, it's a bit of a toss-up with the book that I'll start after this because next week I have work experience at a vet and, like, I want to take a book because I'm going to be catching the bus there and back, I think, and I want to read a book on the bus and maybe in my break if I get, like, a too long of a break and I get bored. But I don't... Okay, I want to start this <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire but I'm not taking this. I'm not taking this in my little handbag. I'm not doing that. But I, if I finish The Night Circus, like, on Saturday, and I need something to read for Sunday, then I'll probably start this. But if I finish Night Circus, like, Sunday night, then I'll probably just start um, Paper Towns by John Green because it's really small, and I can just pick it up whenever, and it's not like, it's not like a really deep kind of book that I need to concentrate on. So, I'll probably pick this up. I'll be reading this throughout the week. I might read both at the same time. This one at home, this one on the bus and all that. It depends on how good this is. If I'm not that into it, then I'll probably read this at home. But if it's really good, then I'll just read this all through the week. Probably finish it too early then. And then I'll be like, what do I read now? So those are the books that I'm going to be reading through the weekend and throughout the whole week. Basically, the whole week. I'm not going to be reading anything else unless I do finish Paper Towns, in which case I'm probably going to just pick up Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake. It's down there, you can't see it, but I probably won't finish it. I'm going to try not to finish it because, I don't know, I kind of want to read more of Harry Potter before I start anything else. But yes, that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below with what books you're going to be reading this weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!